Would you like to learn how to make your own books just like this? What if I told you it's a very simple process to make a book like this with just the paper, using a printer, and these little prong fasteners, a little two hole puncher, and a little bit of book tape, and that's it. So I'm gonna share with you a step-by-step -step tutorial how to start from the very beginning, the settings on your printer to print a book in booklet format, and then how to get the end finished product just like this. So stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Karen and welcome back to our channel called Our House. And if you're new here, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. Now, why would you even want to do this? Well, if you do the Robinson curriculum, you know that a lot of these books are out of print, they're older, they're harder to find, harder to track down. And so when you purchase the curriculum, you have all the books already that you can print out from a CD or from online. And uh, it's better if you print them for your children. I think it's just better in general, right? To read books that you have in your hand versus any electronic screen. That's just my preference at least. I know some families do prefer to do the e-readers, but if you have the space and you like the look and feel of having the book in your hand, then this is a very easy method to be able to print and have your own copy and make it pretty durable for your other children. Now I'm gonna share with you my screen and show you exactly where to go and how how to print so that it prints in this book format and then I'm gonna show you how to bind it really easy if I can do this anybody can do it also worth noting the printer that I'm using is the Epson 2750 I made a video on it uh, I will link that above it's a very very book printing friendly printer it comes with two years worth of ink there's no cartridges you just buy the bottle of ink and that ink will last you forever even if you print a ton which i print a ton and it's amazing how long the ink lasts so i will put a link to the printer in the description below if you want to check that out there are other great epson printers i know there's some brother printers that are really popular for people who like printing books so that's just something worth noting all right let's get started on to the tutorial so this is the next book that I need to print. So I'm going to click on the book. And again, you can print books from lots of places, Project Gutenberg, different places online. So I'm going to do Control P. And when you get this print screen, you want to print using the system dialog because you need to uh, change a couple more settings. OK, so I have my little printer dialog here. And this is what you need to change. When you go to media and quality, click on it and then click on layout. After you click on layout, don't click any of this. Just go right here where it says two sided booklet. That's what you want is the booklet. It might be off when you're here. This is most likely what it might look like for you if you've never done this before. And so you're thinking, oh, pages per sheet and that don't touch any of that. Just go here to two sided and click on booklet and this is going to print out in that booklet form you don't have to reverse page orientation or flip horizontally as long as you just have it on layout and booklet you don't have to touch anything else and then you just hit print and that is it I'll show you what that looks like all right so here it is printing on the Epson and so you can see the page numbers this is 200 and that is 173. This is 198 and this is 175. So it's printing it in that book format. So you know this is good. It's the right side. If you, if you see that one page is one way and the other page is flipped upside down, uh, you obviously want to stop it. You clicked one too many things. It's important you just click on those two settings. If you mess with any of the other settings, then you get results like that. Okay, so here is my finished book, Hans Brinker or The Silver Skate. So just the way that it all printed out. So if I were to just fold this whole block of paper, fold it in half with the cover here, you will see the numbers, how they match up. For example, here's page 58 and here's page 59. And next would be page 60 and 61. So it is already just like a book with the pages in order now what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut it you have to cut it obviously this is if it was a little bit of book 
If it was a just a few sheets of paper, a smaller book, then you could just fold it or do other things. But this is a pretty you know thick book, so I need to cut it and then I'm gonna hole punch it and use the fasteners. I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video, but this is also very handy. Uh, paper cutter you just kind of can measure it put it underneath this is if you want little rounded edges instead of just the square edges this is very helpful so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use this to cut and then show you how i assemble the book okay so here is a few sheets right here and so what i do is just fold it in half just to get an idea where i need to cut and then i'm going to slide it through the paper cutter line it up to where it's going to cut and then do that a couple times all right so what i do so i don't get confused is i see the page number it's 227 so that is the part that goes here at the end of the book so i'm kind of already stacking up and making the book this the last page is 146 here's 47 here's 147 so i just I'm making the book as I go because anytime I try to separate the piles and then put it together at the end, it can get mixed up and confusing. So again, this is the process that I do. I take a few sheets at a time. I fold it in half just to get an idea where to fold. I put it under here. Now I look at this right here, 235. This is in the end of the book. Here's the last page, 234, perfect. The 235 goes right here. And right here, the last page is 138. And that goes right here on top of 139. So I'm just kind of making the book right now as I'm cutting and organizing, putting the new sections on the top and on the bottom. Now, just like I mentioned in my last tutorial, one of my favorite things to do while I make a book is to listen to a book and if you sign up for our email list which is linked below then you will receive a welcome email with uh, all the links to my favorite places to get free ebooks free audiobooks there's a ton of places out there so you will receive that when you sign up and also just updates obviously for this channel i really don't mind it i enjoy this whole process so to me it's just very relaxing all right so i have got my book right here all ready to go I might print a cover for it too so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my two prong hole puncher here and I'm going to find I'm going to decide where I want to put the holes right in the middle I'm gonna guide it here as best I can. Now this is where one of these really comes in handy. Make sure it has the ruler here. Okay, so I will always do it in the same two places. And then that's it. I'm gonna keep going with the rest of these. Okay, so I have my book here, hole punched. Now I just went online and Googled a book cover for this or any kind of picture. And so I printed it out. I think that gives it a nice touch. I'm also going to add one of these um, plastic sheets on top and this on the back. I use these when I do comb binding. So I cut it in half. I think this will also give it a nice look. You don't have to do these extra things. I'm just doing it to make it look a little nicer. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a prong fastener set. So it has two pieces like this. And this is a two inch one, which should be plenty thick. And I'm just gonna bring it through and then close it up. Now I would normally use two pieces of book tape for this. To have some overlap because it's just covering the spine and covering here the fasteners however my kids have been using the book tape i can tell because i am all out this is my very last piece and it's not even sticking all the way because towards the end of the roll the very last bit of it that's on the tube is not sticky so i need to go with my e6000 or book glue and make sure this is on great make sure this is on really solid or better yet, 
order some more book tape. But you get the idea. This is what it looks like. Here's the inside. All right, so I hope that you found this video helpful. If it was helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video and I will make more book binding videos. There's obviously different techniques and different things that you can do. You can have fun with it. It's a great hobby, really. I will also link a playlist that I have with other book binding videos, different methods like home binding or different things like that that you can check out. I will link that. Don't forget to check out the description for all the materials used, for all the supplies used in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.